Hey y'all, I'm back. My name's Kat for you new subscribers. And I'm going to do what they kind of call a ring pour, but it's going to be on a tilted surface. This side is higher than that side. I'm going to use a dirty cup. I got plenty of these cups. They're from Del Monte. No sugar added. Red grapefruit. Love them. But now I'm not so sure I'm going to buy much more of these. I get the free cup for a dollar, but they're not giving you much grapefruit anymore. It's more juice. So, we don't know how that's going to work out. Once you've got a good thing, they go and modify it. Okay, I'm going to have a white background. This was, if you can't get a good outcome, then do a swipe. And I didn't like the swipe. So here we go. I'm going to mix up my background. By the way, I still have not gone out and bought Floetrol. Add a little water. Stir this up. I know if this is too thin, it's the silicone is going to bounce right down to the bottom when you put it on here. If it's too thick, it won't move properly. Well, it's got a little mound. It looks like I've done put in enough. You like that? I done put in enough. <laughs> Instead of did. I'm from the south. Can't expect much. Because it's tilted, I could have made it all one height to put the background on, but I'm already set up. I sure hope this is a canvas I cleaned. Never know from one canvas to another. It's nice and rainy out, so my background should not dry before my project is done. I have no air conditioning sucking all the humidity out. Don't need it. Okay, here we go. I could do this a lot faster with my hands. Go figure. I don't want a whole lot of paint up there at the top. Okay, we've got that done. 
Oops. Okay. There's my cut. And I'm going to start with medium turquoise. dark turquoise I just made this black and I hope it's thin enough That's a lot of black. I'm going to go with dark green. This has no silicone. Wait a minute, I just put silicone in it. This is a mixture of forest green and bright green. I, the dark green is it's just too much. Okay, here's my yellow dulled down to make it like a yellow ochre and then my gold and now I'm going to start it all over again I've got to put that to the side because it's too thick Okay, I'm not going to mix this. Get all these paints out of my way. That's what my cup looks like, and my black does not have any silicone. My paints are either, my black is a uh, Liquitex ivory black which I don't know how you can have both and then the others are uh, deco art apple barrel and Darcy paint so I'm going to start here I've not really had good luck doing this type of a pour. But as soon as it gets close enough, then I know that's enough paint. Now I'm going to hold it, get rid of those cups and get my standard cups. I see it's moving. That's cool.
Okay, move that to the center. Just helping it over the side. My background is not thin enough, it's hanging up on the paint. And now back to the center. It's not going to change those wavy lines. I know that. This might straighten them out. But it's not doing it. It's not straightening out the wavy lines. They're kind of in place. But that's okay. There's wavy lines over here. Move it back to the middle. Okay. We have none of this with the black going on here, which is a shame, but it's okay.
there are just a few little areas that uh, have the base coat coming through. But all in all, it's pretty nice. Uh, okay, here's an extreme. A little bit of white coming through there. Any more white that comes. It'll come. I'm going to torch it. I'm getting little air bubble ho uh, holes. But I'm not getting more. I'm going to see if I can pull this side off and then stretch it back to get more of this kind of thing going on. Just hang in there a minute. Because I used a color that was close to what the gold was, you're not going to see the gold until it dries. It is moving. Okay, now let's move it back. So that this side can stretch like this side did. This is like watching molasses coming out of the bottle. Slow, slow, slow. But it is stretching and I've got that congestion gone right there. I always, when I dumped too much paint off, save it. I got this a purple from two videos back. Now I'm going to see if I can pull this through.
Okay, where's my tweezers? I just had them. There they are. My last painting I had a big glob and I had a heck of a time. I've got very little cells coming through. At least there's a little more compens comp composition on that. I'm, try I'm trying to get not such a wispy effect going on. Let me see if I can move it and kind of join all this that I just did. very few cells. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. Okay, that's it for this go around. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry about my head. There was just not enough.
Okay, that's it. I'm calling it finished. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, if you like the music in the background, let me know. And you all have a happy and God bless you. And I hope you and your family are well. And have a good one. Bye-bye. Here's the close-up.